Good afternoon. I've got a real lineup here, and these are um, free master crafts person winemaking skilled Italian wines, all three are from Puglia, and they're the brainchild of a flying winemaker called Dominic Hentau and he's had a very interesting and exciting career for the last 20 years producing wines all over the world highlighting parcels of to our typifying grapes now what we've got here is his terra forte 2021 and it's 14 and a half percent it's a red which is, consists of primitivo nero de troia and negro amaro that's going to be a mighty workhorse of a red wine. I'm not going to open it because I'm going to open this one. And the reason is, he's simply taken the red wine and crafted a rosé in exactly the same blend. Okay, But this one is 12.5%. So what I'm going to do today is to open the rosé. And also I've got here his Fiano, again from Puglia which is a popular southern Italian grape and so he specializes in making top flight wines low cost particularly for naked wine customers and this is very much a benchmark of what naked wines do best they find amazing wine makers and they encourage them to make incredible exciting new wave wines for a ready market which is the subscribers of naked wines and of course you can become one yourself as you wish the wines are really well priced from around 6.99 upwards and i get a lot of really top quality free bottles of wine from naked wines um i've enjoyed more naked wines this year so far than from any other retailer but I've just received a case of 15 wines from Virgin for later summer and I'm really looking forward to those. So let's get these glasses going and we're going to pour these two and I, I just want to see what kind of foods they're likely to want to pair with. Talking about pears, quite a pear colour there. Terra Rossa, Primitivo, Negro Amaro and Nero de Troia Rosé. I mean, those colours, absolutely exquisite. Very wonderful. Um, strawberry and rose petal, but also walnut. really delicious and um, it's not giving its best at the second i think it could well be too chilled i think it's going to have a lot more bounce and fruit so i think what i'll do is i'll leave that out of the fridge for about half an hour before serving and i'm going to have turkey wok today and this one the fiano again a very walnutty nose very typical of this part of italy very very different um wine but you know easily palatable if you enjoy chardonnay or sauvignon but it's it's got a much more deep grain almost woody nuttiness about it it's, it is you know it's the walnut of wine really it's absolutely fantastic and it would do brilliantly where you might otherwise have white pork absolutely brilliant aperitif wine it's not totally unlike a sherry in nature in fact but it's certainly not a typical white wine and so you might want to you know con reconsider it would probably be best with like cheese and nuts towards the end of the meal i mean it's going to work well with turkey but it's not your first choice you know an alsace might be pinot gris perhaps might have been a better choice for turkey this one's going to be amazing 
Again, you have got that walnutiness, which I very much attribute to the tour. This one's going to be very, very exciting, but I'm going to open this later in the year with a sulfur wasser, again from Puglia. I'm very, very pleased with these. They're a little bit out of my usual ballpark. Very top end wines, very high quality, and they're going to be sipping wines. So they're not gluggers, you know, they're just wines you take your time and you really appreciate. See what you can find over at Naked.